Okay, we're back again with another in this um, self-help series of videos brought to you by Nitty Gritty Business and FredGillen.com. Um, in this video, we're going to go through the exercise of creating a blog site on um, your hosted domain. So the first thing we need to do is actually get into the um, control panel area of the website. And if you recall, we simply do that by typing in C panel at the end of your URL. So it's C P A N E L panel hit return and it will bring up box asking for our login details. Okay, so we've got we've got the box in front of us and we just simply need to type in the um, password username and password to gain access to the back end um, control panel. takes a couple of seconds to log in it's um it's actually going in we can see it down here it's actually there we've um got um, cpanel come up it takes a little bit of time just to get all the icons there and what we're going to do is we're actually going to go down to with the the section down the bottom of the list and it's um software and services and when you get to that section you'll notice that we've got fantastico deluxe fantastico deluxe is a um an icon that gives you access to built-in applications that are already there ready to be installed on your website so let's go in and click on Fantastico Deluxe when we get to Fantastico it brings up a, um, a, a list of installed installable programs so you've got a variety down here that you can look at have a play with it at your leisure um, we're going to look at WordPress so we're going to install WordPress um, which is a the blog utility it's well written up on the net well supported so you can get a lot of information out there we're looking for a new installation at the moment we've got no installation so we're going to look at a new installation of it just click on the new installation that will actually it's saying install on domain so it's giving you a domain option here if you had access to multiple domains you would have a list here we don't we're actually going to tell it to install it into a blog directory so at the moment we've got um, the domain here so we're just going to put in the blog name so we'll call it blog so it actually installs it into a blog directory to get access to maintaining wordpress once it's installed you need to have a username and password so we're actually going to give it a username and password and um, i'll probably pause the video and go past this stage so we'll have a look at that but um, let's go in and just add a username and password um, worry about that in a second so we just hit the install button down the bottom and we're finished the installation so we've got to just click on to finish it goes off and installs all the um, relevant files and features in your directories and you can email the details of the installation to your own email account. We, I'll actually do that just so that we've got a, a record of what's actually happened. It gives you some information here, um, which I again I'll have to edit out because we don't want. Um, although it doesn't really matter in this instance, but um, so that will then send me the installation details of what's happened. We go back to WordPress and have a look at the overview or we can actually go to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another window. And we'll go to how to get started. Like this. That's our normal front page of the site, and we'll go to the blog site. And hopefully we've got a blog site up and running. And look at that. There we go, very basic. Um, in the next video, we'll actually go through and show you how to configure WordPress, um, both from a um, basic blog perspective, and also on how to actually monetize it by using some advertising that um, you get paid for displaying. 
So we thank you for having a look at um, another one of our videos. This is Fred Gillen from fredgillen.com and the series are brought to you by Nitty Gritty Business. Have a great day.